What's up everyone? So a few months back, I shot a travel guide for Fargo, North Dakota in the dead of winter. And everyone was like, you gotta come back in the springtime. Well, here I am. Oh, springtime. I'm here to get you pumped up and prepared for Fargo's biggest event of the year, the Fargo Marathon. Here we go. First off, before you come to Fargo, it's important that you know the local lingo. Like, oh, holy smokes, you betcha, oofta. No, yeah, no, don't you know. Another great thing about the Fargo Marathon is it's flat, no hills. Believe me, I checked. Flat here. Flat here too. Still flat. Great for running, terrible for sledding. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Another great thing about Fargo is there's no traffic but you might get stuck in a polite four-way stop. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, you go. No, I just gotta go pick up my kids, it's fine. fine. No, just, no, you it's, go I ahead, go. You go, it's, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Another cool thing about the Fargo Marathon is it takes place in two different states, Minnesota and North Dakota. Hey, you talk funny. No, you do. Welcome to Minnesota, where you wrap yourself in a blanket and eat ice cream. Fargo's weather can be completely unpredictable, so make sure you come prepared for snow, <laughs> flooding, scorching hot sun, or you might experience pouring ranch dressing. Oh, sorry about that. Mm. People in the Midwest just really love their ranch. Mm. Speaking of which, make sure you carb load before the race with a uh, slice from spicy pie. Oh, oof, that's good. Or a Sandy's donut. Enjoy that crawler, yeah. You're good. Or some Aunt Kathy's famous tater tot hot dish. How much hot dish do I have to make? <laughs> you better stock up on tots, Kathy. You were here first. I honestly think you were here no, first. No, no, you were. You just go. No, you were. Come it's on. It's your turn. No, you go. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. And during the run, you can soak in all the great culture that Fargo has to offer, like this painted bison, or the Fargo Mario wall or that giant pile of dirty snow that refuses to melt. Ah, no, it's gonna kill my time. And you'll feel safe knowing that Fargo's got one of the best hospitals in the nation, Sanford. Plus they pretty much paid for this whole thing, so. But the number one best thing about the Fargo Marathon is the community. Because it doesn't matter if it's raining, snowing, or 40 below, I promise you thousands of people will show up just to cheer you on. Go Herd. Are you getting hungry? I've got some hot dish. That does sound pretty good.